this tutorial, I'm going to be taking you through how you can easily set up a clean and professional website in a little over one hour. So if you're looking to create your own website, save a lot of time and money, and still end up with a clean and professional website that you can be proud of, then this tutorial is for you. Okay, so let me show you what we're gonna be doing. So thanks to recent WordPress updates and the introduction of live page builders, it has now become easier than ever to create professional websites in a fraction of the time. And I've set out to make the process even easier. Instead of having to build your website from the ground up, I've done the hard work for you and created entire templates that you're going to be able to implement for every page of your website in just a few clicks so that you'll be able to get your website up and running easily and effortlessly. Not only that, but I'm going to walk you through how you can completely customize these templates to your own style and design so that you can create a truly unique and professional website. I'll also be showing you how you can easily implement some of the free templates provided by the Elementor Page Builder, giving you truly endless possibilities. And finally, I'll be providing you with free resources that you can use to further improve your website and learning. All of this in a little over one hour. I've made this tutorial to be as easy to follow as possible and we'll be providing you with everything you need to make an incredible website. All you have to do is make it your own. Okay, so today we're going to be building your website in just four easy steps. In the first step, we're going to be purchasing your domain name and hosting. And I'm going to step you guys through the entire process and even provide you with a massive discount on your hosting. In the second step, we'll be installing WordPress with an easy quick install feature. In the third step, we'll be installing a free theme and our page builder, Elementor. And finally, the fourth step, which is the fun part which is when we'll be creating our incredible website. Okay, let's get started. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna to need to do is go through and purchase our domain name and hosting. So we're gonna be going through a company called HostGator this so if you just want to type in simply up in the top here host gator and you'll be brought to their website now you may be wondering well why host gator well for many different reasons I choose to go with host gator I've tried a lot of different hosting services over the years but I've found that host gator is honestly the best in terms of service and quality and just what you get for price and probably the biggest one of all is the fact that it has 24-7, 365 days live support. That's why I recommend them to you guys, and that's who we'll be using in this tutorial, okay? So once you're ready, just simply hit get started. Now, all we're going to need to go with is our hatchling plan, because we're just going to need it for a single domain. So we're just going to go with our hatching plan, and we're going to hit buy now. Okay, so then you're going to be brought to this area here, and this is where you're going to type in your domain name that you're going to go with. So hopefully you might have already thought of your domain name. If not, have a little bit of a think and a bit of a try and until you get one that actually works, because a lot of the time domains are actually taken. So once you've decided on your domain name, you're going to put it in. I'm going to go with one hour website tutorial great all right so then you're gonna see it's gonna come up with all these different options don't worry about any of those you don't need to buy all these extra um, versions of your website just go with com okay so then we're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see this area called that says domain privacy protection basically if I untick it I'll show you basically what that does is if it's protected this is how it'll look on the who is domain 
uh, which is where people can look up who owns a website. And if without privacy, they're gonna be able to see your details, your email address and phone number. So it's, it's really up to you what you'd like to go with, what you feel comfortable doing. Um, just knowing that if you do add it on, it adds a bit of an extra cost on. So it's up to you whether you wanna have it on or off, remembering that you can put it on any time later on. And then we're just gonna scroll down and you're gonna be brought to this area here. So we're just gonna simply choose Hatchling as we already did at the beginning. And then you're gonna choose your billing cycle. So you've got a lot of options that you can choose. If you're someone that prefers to pay things up front, I'd recommend going with either the six month or 12 month option. But if you're someone that prefers to pay month by month, then you can choose month by month but it's completely up to you. So let's just say we select 12 months for now. So going through, we're just gonna type in our username and then make up a pin. And then as we scroll down, we're gonna come to this area here and we're just gonna fill out all of our details. And then we're gonna have this area here called additional services. Now you're not actually gonna need either of these and they add additional costs. So we're just gonna uncheck those and then scroll down. Okay, so this is our payment area. So you'll notice that HostGator has already added a coupon here. Now I've actually got for you guys two different coupons that are actually gonna save you more than what HostGator uh, gives you. So the first one's for those who would prefer to just pay an upfront cost. So if you type in Isaac 60%, what you'll find is that when we hit validate, you'll notice that it's brought our price down. It's actually brought our the cost of our domain to just $5. And what this coupon does is it actually gives you up to 60% off your hosting, depending on the plan that you choose. So at the moment we chose a 12 month plan, and as you'll see, it's actually given us 40% uh, off, but if you were to select even more, it would give you higher savings. But I'm sure you'll agree that 40% off is still a great discount. Okay, so, but what happens if you're perhaps someone that wants to do a month by month? Well, like I said, I've got another coupon for that. So if we just quickly scroll back up here and we go and select month by month, and then if we were to type in here, we change it to Isaac one cent, and then we hit validate. What it's gonna do is it's actually gonna bring our website down to just $12.96 upfront. Now, you can't get much cheaper than that. This is, it's hard to get a meal that is that cheap these days, let alone an entire website. It's actually given you your first month for just one cent. That's a gr another great option for those of you who want to pay a month by month basis and have the smallest upfront cost. Okay guys, so they're the two options that you have, depending on what you would prefer. Now, these coupons that I've given you, uh, what they do is not only do they save you money, but they also give me a small little commission, which helps me to be able to keep creating free tutorials like this one. So if you chose to use one of those coupons, then thank you very much. Okay, so then we just scroll down to this area here and we simply tick and then hit check out now and there you have it guys awesome well done so there's our domain and hosting all purchased all done and ready to go so now it's time to move on to installing wordpress okay guys the next thing we need to do is go through and install wordpress and luckily hostgator makes it extremely easy to do okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on to this section here called hosting we're gonna click that and then we're gonna scroll down until we see this item here called launch quick install okay so then you're gonna click on WordPress 
and then you just simply select the, your domain, it will be automatically there, making sure that you don't type anything in here so that it doesn't install it onto a directory of your website. So just make sure that you just only select this area and then just simply hit next and then we can put in our blog title. So um, you can change this blog title anytime. So put in whatever you'd like and then your admin username. So an admin username is the username that you'll be using to log into the actual account. So, so I'm just gonna put in one hour website in there and then an email that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna go with and then you want to hit agree to the terms of service agreement and then simply just hit install. Awesome. Okay, so that's WordPress installed. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually log in to WordPress. So what I want you to do is simply copy this one here because uh, that's your website that you installed it to and you're going to paste that into your browser. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to simply right click and open a new tab and you'll see here that it's your website has a coming soon. So if you wondering what this is, it's just a coming soon that's automatically put up until you activate your website or launch it. So how we're going to log in and how you're going to log in to your website from now on is you put on the end of your website slash WP admin okay just simply do that just as I've got it there and hit enter okay so there we go there's the this is the where we actually log in to WordPress so we're simply just going to go back and we're going to copy the username that we had or type it in whatever is easier for you put it in and then you can have a password here which is don't worry I'll show you guys how we can fix that how we can uh, create our own make that much easier to remember but for now just copy it and paste it in okay and then hit login okay so there we go you've installed WordPress now we're inside so the first thing I like to do whenever I in first install WordPress is we're gonna go through and just do a bit of a cleanup of the of, of WordPress so when you first install it uh, HostGator will give you just a few plugins and things that are really not necessary and end up slowing down your site a little bit. So we're gonna go through and clean those up. But the first thing that I think we should do is clean up this dashboard a little bit. So just simply go through and we can hit exit on these, dismiss this, we'll get rid of this as well. Uh, just closing up all these, just we don't need them all in, for, in our face. I don't think anyway. So you can clean that up a lot better now. Now you see here, your, your site is currently displaying coming soon page. Once you're ready to launch, just click here. So for now, we'll leave it as just, um, but you're welcome. You can hit launch your site. Um, but if you'd like to wait around with a coming soon page um, until you've actually got it built, then it's best off to just to leave it, okay? What we're gonna do next is I'm gonna go up here and if we go to edit my profile okay so if you look here we can simply we can actually change the color scheme of our um, website so you go through and pick what you like the blue is not bad but I'm just gonna go with the default just for now and then scrolling down you'll see that you can actually create a nickname so this is your display name. So just say you're gonna be writing some blog posts and you wanna have your real name. You can simply put in your real name there instead of using your business name and you can select it here. And now what will happen is that when you write blog posts, they'll come up displaying as your real name there instead of perhaps your business name. This is where you can change your email um, to whatever you'd like it to be. You can add in a profile picture and then let's go through and change that really difficult password. So you just simply hit generate password and then you're just gonna type in a password and then update profile, okay? So now that's the new, whatever you've put there is now what you can use to actually log in to uh, WordPress from now on, which is really good. 
Okay, so the other thing I said we we're gonna do is we're gonna just gonna clean up some of these plugins. So, so you'll see here that we've got all of these um, ones we just don't need. So I want you to uh, tick all of these because we're gonna uninstall them. We don't need Jetpack. Don't worry about this Hello Dolly thing. Um, Google Analytics by Monster Insights. But leave Akismet because um, it's a very good one for anti-spam. But other than that, we're just gonna go through and hit deactivate, apply. Okay, so they're all deactivated. Now we just go through and tick them again and hit um, delete, okay? So making sure we're just gonna leave Akismet, but all the rest, I want you to delete them. So we're just gonna hit okay. Okay, so once we've deleted all those, we can just simply head back to our dashboard. Okay, so another important thing we need to do is actually go through and change how our something called our permalink. So don't worry about what that even means, but if we go to permalinks here, so settings, permalinks. Basically what this is gonna do is change the way that our page displays on the internet. So at the moment, um, it's set to look like this, which is just does not look professional at all, and it's also not good for SEO. What we wanna change it to is simply post name. So from now on, it'll change, it'll have our website.com slash your post name instead of what we had before, okay? So that's an easy but really crucial thing that you wanna do for your website, okay? So then just simply hit save changes. I would've got one last thing that I think we'll do is if you go to posts, um, we're just going to remove the one that WordPress automatically installs called Hello World and we're just going to put that to trash. Okay, so going back to dashboard now. Okay, so then we're going to go up to this area here and we're going to go to visit site. So let's have a look at what our site looks like at the moment. Okay, so there you go. As you can see, it's not really very much. It's probably still exciting for you that you've got your website uh, actually starting to get set up, but most of you are probably looking at that and thinking, that looks nothing like the website that I was shown at the beginning. Don't worry, we're gonna go through and get it set up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go through now and install a theme and our page builder, which is gonna allow us to start creating a much better looking website. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our dashboard and we're gonna to go to appearance themes. Okay, so you're gonna see that this shows you the theme that is currently installed. And what we're gonna do though is gonna go through and add a new one. We're gonna add our own. So we're gonna go to add new. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna type in here, you're gonna type in Sydney. Now in my honest, my own, my honest opinion, this is probably the single best free theme available. Um, it's just amazing how much you can actually do with a free theme, especially once you're using the uh, live page builder that I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use. So what we're gonna just simply do is we just hit install and then we're gonna hit activate. And then you're gonna have um, it saying that this theme recommends the following plugins, Elementor and which is our live page builder and Sydney Toolbox custom, uh, custom post, da 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 da. So we're just gonna hit begin installing plugins. Okay, and then we're gonna go tick both these and hit install and apply. Okay, so then if we go down to plugins, um, it'll take us to our plugins that we've just installed and you're, gonna, you're just gonna simply hit activate of the Elementor, awesome, and then you can hit activate for this one too. Fantastic, okay, so now let's go back and have a look at our site, see what it looks like now. Awesome, so as you can see, we're really starting, it's looking a lot nicer now. 
So now what we're gonna go through and do is actually start customizing out this website. All right guys, so the first thing that I think we'll do with creating our website is before we get onto using our page builder, let's go on and make up our menu here because we don't at the moment we don't actually have any menu items. So what we're going to do to is we're going to go back to our dashboard and we're going to go to pages, add new. Okay, so these are what we're going to we're going to create these pages like I said to be in our menu section at the top. Okay. So the first one I want you guys to create is a home page. Now, a lot of the time these days you don't actually have a link to the home page in the menu section, but you'll see in a moment why we actually create a page called home. So just create that for now and we want to make sure that we uh, make it front page, okay? So you'll see soon why I do that. So we're going to make it front page and hit publish. So that one's done. Okay, then we want to add another page and this one we want to call about and same thing again, make sure that you make it front page and hit publish. Let's add another one and we're going to call it blog and then with this one we're actually going to leave it as the default template. The blog I think looks better as the um, with the default template for this one at least. And we won't actually be using the Elementor page builder within the blog section. So we can just leave that as the default template. So we're just gonna hit publish and we're gonna add one more and we're gonna call this one services. And make sure for this one, we hit front page. Cause the reason we're calling, making it front page is um, it helps us to be able to use our, it's use this Elementor page builder. Can use the Elementor full width, but I find um, that the front page actually works better in terms of it turns out neater, but I'll show you guys that a little bit further down the track. But we're just gonna hit publish. Okay, so that's all of our pages created. Now we're gonna go to settings, and then we're gonna go to reading. And then what I want you to do is go to this one here and your home page displays as a static page and now you see all these pages we've been created so this is why we created a home page because we're going to tell our um this setting here to have our home page as our home so you could have any of these really as your home page but we're going to use home and then our post page so that's when we if you're creating a blog you're going to have a blog on your website you want to have that as blog easy as that and we just simply hit save changes awesome okay so now what I want us to do is we're gonna go back to our website and I want to go want us to go to customize now this is where you can change a lot of the things from the back end of your website. it's not actually our page builder that we're going to be using but it's used for other things that the page builder can't control such as our header here and our menu. So the first thing, let's change that tagline. So we can make that, we can get rid of the subheading because we don't really need that, I don't think. Um, and for now, we'll have one hour website, but I'll, I'll show you soon how we can upload our own logo. Okay, so now let's create our menu up here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back here and we're gonna go to a section called menus, nice and easy and we're gonna go create new menu. We're gonna call this one, let's just call it top bar menu, okay? And then you wanna select primary menu, okay? So that's it's what, what it's gonna use and then we're just gonna simply hit next and we're gonna hit add items. And now you'll see that we've got all of these here that we made. So we're gonna hit plus on about, we're gonna hit plus on blog, and we're gonna hit plus on services. And I just realized we forgot to create one page, but the amazing thing is that you can actually create them from within here. So 
we forgot to create a contact page but you can simply just go contact and hit add and there we go so we've got our about we've got our blog we've got our services and we've got our contact okay so if we look now back at our website if I just press this one here there we go we've got our about we've got our services we've got our we've got it all there okay awesome so the next thing I'm gonna do I don't really like this red um, hover over color so I'll show you guys how you can easily change this to whatever color you'd like so you go to uh, general and then primary color and let's change it to a nice blue color because that's the theme that I've been going with we've gone with for this website but you're welcome to um, change it to whatever you'd like so now see when we hover over it's a nice blue color now I don't know whether you agree with me or not but I think they're a little bit small the uh, these here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and make them a little bigger so we're gonna go to um, fonts and if you scroll down you will see menu items here so we can just simply hit they change very quick so don't uh, put too big of enough so just press that a few times let's see um, you can even probably go a tiny bit bigger see what 20 is like yeah that's I like that um, I'm not sure why it's showing up in red again now but um, yeah that looks a lot better I think let's just go back to colors header oh here we go okay so we want the menu items hover we want to change that so we don't want it to be red anymore we want it to be blue okay so you can choose whatever blue color you like I like that blue and nice that looks really nice like that I think okay so you can go through and change the colors here to whatever you'd like so now that we've got we've got our we've got our menu up here awesome that's great okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change this um, actual menu header here this menu up here so what we're going to do is we're going to add in a tiny bit of uh, custom CSS some additional CSS here that's going to help us to be able to change this to be a background color of whatever we'd like so what I want you guys to do is go through and download the uh, folder that I've created for you guys that has it's going to have all the templates that we're going to be soon using for this building our website with our page builder but it's also got a section with some custom CSS that's really going to help us with um, this website so what I want you to do is once you've downloaded that link which is in the description of this video okay so once you've clicked that link you're gonna be brought to this here and so this is our folder all I want you to do is simply hit download all okay so once that is done we're gonna just simply open up open out open that file and you're gonna need because it automatically zips it you're gonna need a um, program that opens up zip folders so the there's plenty of free ones out there the one that I use is called win zip so simply just download that if you don't already have um, a program to open zip folders and yeah it'll allow you to open it so what we want to do is we're just going to take this folder here and we're going to extract it somewhere so I'm just going to put it on to the desktop because that's going to be the easiest place for me to put it for you guys so I'm just going to say okay we're going to see this one here and we're going to have our one called custom CSS so all I want you to do is open this up and don't worry all we need to do is copy and paste that and if we go back to additional CSS we simply here we paste it in so control V 
or we paste it in and okay so as you can see our menu has changed to that white there um, we'll change the we need to just change the display of the menu so we can actually see it but as you can see it's a much it's a nice white color you'll notice I've got a few extra ones here you guys don't really need to worry about what they mean but basically just understand that they help um, when we're building our website for it to come together a bit better but see here we can actually if you don't want to have it as white you can essentially change it to whatever color you like because what this means is red green blue okay so if I put this down to let's just give you an example 100 oh we've got a nice pink there <laughs> so if we put it here we can say 100 so we've got the blue and maybe let's see what happens if we do 100 100 100 and it turns to a gray color so you could you could put that down to 50 you could put it to zero really you could have a little bit of a play around to create some colors for you but I'm I think we'll just go with um, the nice white I think that looks the most professional okay so once you've got all that put in there we can just simply leave that now let's make sure that we can see these menu items here okay so we're gonna go back to colors and we're gonna go to header and we're gonna to go to um, top level menu items I'm gonna change that from white and we're gonna make it them black I think like that um, okay so easy as that we can now see our our header our menus okay so next, I'm going to show you guys how to add in a logo up here. So we might want to, just in case you guys don't have a logo, so I'll just show you how we can change the site title. We'll make that black so it shows up for us, okay? Um, so if you're just going to have text up there, easy as that. So let's go back to uh, our site title. So we just simply hit select and you'd go to upload, select your file, and then it would come to your media library. So I've already got one ready. So I'm just gonna simply hit that and hit choose image. Okay, so there we go. Now we've got our logo up in the corner there, which looks a lot more professional. Okay, so another very important thing to do is we've fixed up our menu so that it's actually displaying now over this white background we've put there, but if you click these little icons down here, what they do is they show you what it looks like on a tablet and what it looks like on a mobile. Now you'll notice that we can't see our menu items. That's because they're set to still be at the white color. So what we want to do is we want to go to back to colors again and we want to go to header and we want to go down to where it says mobile menu button okay and we want to change that to black okay so if we look back now once it updates you see that our menu comes up black like that okay okay so that's done so now when people visit your site on the mobile they're going to be able to actually access your menu okay so there's our menu done let's go back I'm just going to show you one little th other little thing that is important for you guys just say you've got your menu here and what happens if you don't like that order what if happens if you you want to have services before a uh, blog easy or you can just simply drag it above it and now live it will actually change it so we can easily change them to whatever order you'd like to have um, in that way there we're basically ready to now get on to the actual using our page builder which you're going to find you're going to just see just how easy it is so before we can go into putting into the using this page builder and um, using the templates that I've created for you guys we just got one last thing that we need to do. So if you go back to our main area, 
we're going to go to header area and then we're going to go to header type and we're going to say that we actually don't want any header so it's going to remove this one that's already comes with the website theme we're going to hit no header because you'll see in a moment why we actually get rid of that okay so don't worry um, and then we're going to get rid of no header either on pages okay all right so that's all of our um, we've now got our site ready to start using our page builder all we do now make sure you hit publish so that it makes all those changes we've just done live and you can then exit out of our customization okay so I know our sites looking pretty bad it's like taking a step back but don't worry it's just about to take a massive leap forward let's get on to using our page builder we're just simply going to go to edit page we're going to hit this one here now it's time to open up Elementor okay so this is the Elementor uh, page builder we've got all these menu items here what's even more amazing is that it has the ability to import entire templates so as I told you at the beginning of this tutorial I've done the hard work for you guys you guys just get to have fun editing it what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually click here we're gonna hit add template then we're gonna go to this one here import template and we're gonna go to select file if we go to our folder that I gave you guys we're gonna to go to page template so let's go first with our home page template so we just simply easy as this we just hit import okay so once it's done we're just gonna simply have our home page template will be in and we're just simply gonna hit insert and we say import document settings yes so basically this is going to do is download so you just simply hit yes awesome all right guys so let's start from the very top so this video here you can actually have any video that you'd like to have in the background or you can also have an image I'm going to show you how guys how we can do both if to change the video we can simply hit up here right click and it'll come up with edit section so we hit edit section and if we go to style here you see we've actually got a uh, here we can put in a YouTube video because all that's actually doing at the moment is displaying a uh, YouTube video so you can simply select any video I like so just so uh, I'm gonna give you an example so I just typed in um, people walking footage and just say I wanted to have that footage in the background I just simply copy the uh, the link and I paste it in here and it'll just wait a little moment and it'll load our video so there we go now you notice it's stuffing up a little bit that's because I've got the start time set on 26 but we want to change that to zero so and we can have the end time as zero as well so basically what that's doing is if you've got a section in the video that you'd like it to start from you can simply specify that okay so let's say you don't want to have a video in the background maybe you want to have an image in the background well we simply go to this one called classic and we can change it to an image so I've already got one preset here but let's just say we had an image and maybe you had some images here and you wanted to have this one we could just simply hit insert media and now we've got that there which looks I think just as just as good having a picture there but I'm gonna go with the video because I really like the video so we simply just go back to there and it's gonna put our video back on now to change our text we can change this to whatever we like we simply just hit edit and you'll see that it's got stand out written there you could have you can have whatever you like as the heading easy as that so we can have that there and you can change just say you want that to be uh, bigger or maybe smaller very easily done we simply just go to style and we go to this typography 
and we can actually change the size to anything we like. So just say you wanted it really big, you can change it to that, or we could put it really small. It's just, and it updates all completely live. But I liked it there, what we had it at. So I'm gonna put it back to 112. Um, you can actually change the weight, so you could make it bold. Um, so we can change that, but I like normal. You can play around that with that for a bit though. Um, okay, sorry, we, what did we have it on? Default? Yeah, so, awesome. Now you can actually, what's also incredible is you have all of these Google fonts, so you don't even have to go with the one I gave you guys. You can look through all these and find one that you like. Let's see what Pacifica looks like. Look at that, so we could have that, which I really don't think looks very nice, but that's how you can easily go through and change that to whatever font you'd like. We can change our text color though. If we go back, we exit out of this, and we can change the text color to anything we like. Okay, and so same thing again, we can change this. I won't step you through all of it because you probably understand that now, but you simply just hit edit, and you can change the title here to whatever you like. And the same process again, you can go through and you can change um, the sizing and everything you'd like. And then we've got our button here, so we just simply hit that little icon of edit. Now our button, we can change um, the text to anything we like. So what you can also do is you can actually link this button to somewhere. You could really link this to anything. You can link it to a video, um, your services. Now, another thing we can do is we can actually change the colors here that are overlaying this video. So if we go back to click back up here, edit section, style, and then we scroll down to this thing called background overlay. We can just simply click this here. So you can change it, you can change, have it as red, um, and we could change perhaps this down here to, so you could have that there, which I think, to be honest, that actually looks quite good. Um, yeah, so you could just, it's up to you really, just have a bit of a play around until you find two colors that you like. So there's our header part done. Let's keep scrolling down. Let's start with this image here. So if you'd like to change this image to something different, we just simply hit the little edit button and you would select your image just as I've shown you previously before. Actually reduce the size of the image or you can make the image really big. Um, honestly, it's up to you what you wanna do with that, okay? And then we can go through and we can change the text here. We just simply hit, click on it, type in whatever we want, and that that's easy as that. Same thing here. Our button here, we can, I'll show you guys, we can actually change this button. So at the moment, I've got it set, it's actually no background color. But, if you'd like, you can turn this one up, and this one as well, and you can change that, the button to whatever color you'd like. And you can change the text color to white, because that would stand out better. And we can go to our topography here, and we can actually go to edit, and we can change the size of our font. So we can make it a massive font, we can make it small, um, honestly, it's really up to you guys what you want to do. So scrolling down, we've got now our services section. We can again change this to whatever you want. Okay, so easy as that, you know how to do that now. But let's, let's go to here. You can easily change that to whatever you like. So if you go to icon, you've got all of these icons to choose from. So you can even search. So just say maybe um, you wanted to, you had a YouTube channel, so you wanted to put YouTube there. So you could just simply hit that and it's gonna change it to YouTube for you. Something really cool we can do is we can change this so we can go to stacked. So what it will do, it will actually have a nice full color like that or we can have it as default, which is no, nothing at all. Um, but I like the circle around it, but. Honestly, you guys can change that to whatever you like. 
We can have the shape around it. We could have it as a square or a circle. I like the circle. Uh, the text here, just click it inside and type. Click inside and type again. Now you notice it's got a, this little hover happens when I put my um, I put my cursor over it. So if we actually go to style, you'll actually see that um, there's this thing here called hover. And if we go to hover animation, we can change it to whatever we want. So we could have shrink even um, when people look over it. And we can even change the colors. So just say we wanted to change the um, color of our button. We wanted to make it um, this blue here and maybe you wanted a secondary color. We wanted to have a color in here. We can change that to whatever we'd like. Okay, so that's how you can edit out this services area. So scrolling down, we've got our nice big quote section here. Now, okay, so just again, very easy to edit out. So we just simply click in there. Okay, so how do we change this image here to whatever you guys would like? Well, you just simply hit edit section and then you go to style and here's our picture here. So if we want to put in a different picture, just say you wanted to have this city here, we just simply hit insert media and easy as that, we've got a new picture. Now you notice it's got that beautiful um, effect that almost looks like you're looking through a window. If you don't like that though, it's that's a fixed setting, the attachment. You can change it to scroll, so it'll just be a static image like that. But now, we can change this as well. We can edit this out. So just say, I hit edit column, right click, edit column, and you go to style. Now again, I'm not gonna take you through it, but remember we can change these two colors and you could change it to whatever colors you'd like to have here. Okay, so another really cool thing that we can do. So if you go to advanced um, and we go to slide in from left. So that's what we've got at the moment. But you could have it as slide in from down. You could have it as slide in from the right. So that means when, when people scroll to this area, it's actually going to come in like that, which is just really effective. Okay, so scrolling down, we've now got our blog. So you'll notice that there's not actually any posts showing up in our blog at the moment. Well, that's because we don't actually have any posts created. So I'm going to show you guys how we can create a few posts. So I'm going to show you guys how to create one. So if we're just going to hit update to make sure that we update all of our changes. So if you want to click on this one, right click, open in new tab. Now, if you go back to dashboard, we're going to go and go to posts add new. This is how you create a blog post in in WordPress. So um, let's just call it, you can get put in whatever you want. You can give it some text and we can have a set an image here. So if we go to set featured image and we upload one and now we're going to hit publish. Okay, so if we go have a look back at our website now, we've actually got a blog post there which is awesome so that's how you can easily go through and add in your blog posts as easy as that if we go to edit with elementor now we go back down so i won't show you how to do that again because we've already done it okay so going down um now we've got our portfolio section. So this is really easy to edit. So if we just click edit and you'll see here we've got all these items here. So if we just click item one, we can simply go through and um, upload our image. Okay, so you can go through and you can change the title which is see when we it says NYC, you could have whatever title you want here. Here, You could link this project so you could link it to a video perhaps. You could link it to a post that you write. You could link it to a page. Completely up to you. And then this thing here called filter term. That's that. This is what's important. Just say you wanted to have. I'm just gonna. I've got an example. So if you just type in the word pictures, 
what it'll do if it hasn't had any others put there yet what it'll do it'll actually automatically create a new tag so if you obviously want to delete some of these you just go through these items and remove where it said photography and put in your own so scrolling down we've now got our clients and sponsors section so this is if you've got some clients that um, you'd like to showcase or perhaps not clients sponsors same thing we just simply we can click here and we can edit the text we click on this and we can actually upload a picture of our um, a transparent picture of our sponsor now a lot of you probably won't have this but I thought I'd just add it in for some of you out there who are looking for something really nice like this okay. so scrolling down we're gonna keep going now we've got our contact us page okay so again we can change all this very easily we can put in our address here we can put in our phone number and our email uh, now we got this area here if we click there we just pop in an address and it will automatically change to that address for you okay and we can change the zoom and it'll automatically change that for us now just say you wanted to have a bit different background all you do is simply go to edit section and you go to style and then you can just upload our own picture in here so scrolling down we've got now some social icon links so I'll show you guys how we can change that so again we just hit, we hit edit what you can do is you can um, so just say we've got our Facebook here what you would do is you'd type in you'd put in your link to your Facebook page here but you just go through and you link all of your social medias in the link section easy as that and when people click them they're gonna go to your um, to your page okay okay well there is our home page guys I'll just show you a few extra little things that are going to um, be beneficial for you to know. So maybe you'd want to have the portfolio um, below your your blog post here. Well, you can easily move that around by we'd first move the heading. So we just scroll it up and we could put it here so where it lights up blue. And that's going to drag our portfolio up to the top there okay you can do that with any section you like you can move it around move everything around so there's another incredible amount of customization you can have um, another thing um, just say for whatever reason maybe you don't want a portfolio on your website a lot of people probably you might not want it for your business website or your personal website that's easy fix you can just simply hit delete section and now it'll remove that section of the portfolio altogether for you. All right, guys, so that is our homepage section done. So making sure that we hit update now that we've done all that. All right, guys, so now let's move on to our about page. So we're gonna just simply click, right click on about, open a new tab, and we're gonna go edit page. And then we just make sure that front page is selected and we're going to go edit with Elementor. Okay, so now for our back out about page, I've actually created for you guys two different versions. Okay, so you, I'll show you through the two of them. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go add template, import, select file, to about page business template. And once it's loaded, we just hit insert, yes. So, you should know by now that you can just simply click this and you can edit the text, same here. You can change this here. I'm gonna show you guys, just so in case you wanted to change, remember, we wanted to change the background. We go edit section and we go to style. And let's say you wanted to have a different picture. So you would just select it from the media library you would just simply hit insert media and easy as that you can change the background again you can also you could potentially put a video in remembering that you can change the colors 
you can change the location so you could um, actually change the intensity of the red that is again play around now scrolling down we've got our social media icons which I just think are really nice looking now I'll show you how to change one of these and then you can go through and you'll be able to do the same for all so again you just could select your icon that you'd want here and we can change the text so you can go through and edit these to be whatever you'd like if you think you only need three easy done you can just simply delete it and what will happen is if we delete that as well it'll actually automatically change the sizing of these what if happens if I want five though well easy you just hit duplicate and you've got four there we hit duplicate again and now you've got five there okay so scrolling down we've got this section here where we could have our story now this what I just absolutely love is this big massive video section here what you can actually do is you could display a video of your perhaps for your business or your company all you do is hit edit and same process so you could just simply paste in your YouTube video and it will play there so I'll show you something so this is actually an image overlay so what's really cool I'll delete it for now so just say that's the that's the placeholder so you would have your video there obviously that you'd put in but I don't think it looks as professional of course um, to have the YouTube play button like that so that's why we add in an image overlay so you would have whatever image you wanted to add in so let's say maybe you wanted to have this one as your cover and when you hit insert what it will do it will cover it and now when people click it starts to play the video okay so scrolling down we have this here which you don't really have to change if you don't like but you can again if you go edit section and you go to style and you can actually change the background image to something different and just say you wanted to have that it would change the background image here to whatever you'd like it to be so again completely up to you and you could change the colors of the background I'm not going to show you again but you can change them here okay and then we've got this beautiful looking uh, team section here uh, we can easily change the text there so we just click on it change it here and here just click on there and you can change it okay and then we've got our social links down here if you just click edit and you've got each of them here so if you just open one up you just paste your link in and that would link to your team members uh, Facebook Twitter or LinkedIn profile if some of you are probably thinking but what happens if I have more than three team leaders well same thing again you just simply hit duplicate and it's going to automatically adjust the sizing so you could keep doing that for as many as you need again you could also uh, if you click edit section if you don't like the blue remember you might have gone with your own color scheme for your website so you can just go to style you can go to background overlay and you can change the backgrounds so you could have that I think that actually looks really nice so you can change that um, you can change the picture in the background uh, if you go to if you go to style and you change it here we just simply you select whatever you'd like to have okay so that's how you can change that now scrolling down we've just got this section again and you just simply hit click on it and you add in your images and it'll automatically scroll through them and the same thing with this down here again just link to all your social media platforms now I'll just quickly now show you uh, if you're making this for a more personal website the template that you could use okay so what you're going to want to do is if you're gonna if you've already installed this one and you're wanting to put in the new template you're just gonna have to go go through and delete each of these okay so same process we just simply go to add template then we go to import 
select file and this time we open personal template open that one up and we're just going to install the personal one okay so this is the template for a more personal website so as you can see you've got the text you can change here you can put an image of yourself you have a bit of writing about yourself um, you can have these here again and as we come down we've got my story a picture again of yourself a little bit about yourself you've got another text box here if you want to write even more and then you've got the option to have a video of yourself down here if you'd like to have that but if you don't have that of course you could just simply hit x and remove that or even just have a big image of yourself here okay and then you've got down the bottom here your social media okay so there's a lot you could do with this one as well um, it's really completely up to you okay so now that we've done our about section let's go on to our services section so we're going to click services and open in new tab edit page always making sure that front page is selected and then you're just going to hit edit with elementor so we're going to hit add template to import select file and we're going to go to services page template now if this ever happens to you where it comes back to here i want you to make sure because it sometimes reverts back to default um, for whatever reason so if that happens make sure that you hit front page and then the issue shouldn't happen again okay so once you've selected that just simply hit update okay so the first thing you can do is you can change this text here to whatever you'd like we can change this image here in the background so if we go to click over in this side here so we get edit section and we can change the image to anything we'd like and then um, if we go to background overlay again we can change change the background overlay we could turn it off altogether and have a picture like that so you could perhaps have um, like I showed before you could have the black over it and you would turn the opacity down it wouldn't need it that high you could have it something like that that also looks just as good you can also if you click this one here I've put a spacer in so just say you wanted to make this much bigger a lot smaller um, really it, it's up to you okay coming down to here we've got our uh, our actual services so again like we saw on the home page you can go through and change each of these to whatever you'd like if you need to have more than three services easy just hit duplicate you could even you've also got the option that if you click here edit section another idea that you could do is if you go to image you could actually put an image in the background hit, hit insert and what it will do for you is it'll put it in the background there now I'll show you something as well so this here I've actually set up for you guys that when people click learn more of web design it'll it instantly anchor to this part okay okay so there's also just here you'll notice it's a testimonial section and yes got a few testimonials from Will Smith and Elon Musk here but you can easily um, add your own and change them around so I'll show you how you do that so the beauty of this is that all you do is you um, select your image and then you select one so you preferably want to going to want to pick one that's a square like this because it automatically puts it into a circle and ones like this can sometimes have a little bit of trouble so you want to try and find one that is a have an image that's a nice square and then simply upload it and when you do that if I were to insert this one it's gonna add the photo in automatically like that and you if you don't want an image perhaps you don't have pictures of your testimonials just hit delete and it'll just display it as a text and the name 
and this is here where you edit the text so you just type in whatever you like and it would change it for your uh, your testimonial okay so scrolling down we've got this here um, and you would edit that you could just click there type in what you'd like if you want to change the image you just hit edit so just say you wanted to add in another service you just hit really hover over this area here and then hit duplicate and you'll have a second one there now okay and if you wanted to swap them around you'd simply grab this here which grabs a column and wait until it highlights like that shifts across and let go and there we go so we can swap that around so that's really easy I've also got here these little buttons that you could essentially link to extra pages that you've created that go into consulting perhaps on in more detail and so if you didn't want it you could just simply hit edit and then delete and you don't have to have that there okay and then we've just got down here a nice little quote again this is completely optional you can go through though and you can edit it and then again you've got this uh, your icons down here but as you can see it's a really nice looking services page that you can do a hell of a lot with and so yeah just play around with it and hopefully you come up with a beautiful looking services section okay guys so that's our services page done now let's move on to our blog page now there's not a lot to do on this page but I still think it's quite important um, it's not really much we need to do with this I think it's quite good the way it's it all it's all set up but let's just clean up this uh, this side area here so I'll show you guys how we can do that so so if we go back to our dashboard and then we go to appearance uh, widgets now this is the area now this is where we can control what's appearing in the sidebar okay so at the moment we've got a search bar I don't think that's needed um, recent comments not needed archives not needed categories probably not needed meta so I think just having the recent posts maybe is all we really need if we go back to our site and we go to our blog you'll see that it's looking a lot cleaner now all right guys so our last page to do and probably the most important of all is a is our contact page so what we're going to do is we're going to go through to our, we're going to click contact and now we're going to go to edit page and then we're going to go to edit with Elementor so we're going to go to here and then you're going to go to contact page template you're going to insert that so here is our contact page now you guys will have got used to this area here now you can even turn off this gradient that I've got over the top um, so if you get a background overlay if we turn it off you could have a full picture like that but if you're gonna do that I'd always recommend doing an overlay of perhaps um, black and turning the opacity to a lot lower so something like maybe like that maybe so scrolling down we then have our uh, section here which you can go through and change uh, scrolling down next thing is our map here so we've had we've encountered one of these before but remember you just click edit you type in your address that you'd like to have now, we've got over in this left in the left here it's a blank box the reason it's blank at the moment is because we don't actually have our plugin for the contact form installed so I'm going to show you guys how to easily install and set up that so make sure that you update whatever we've done you've done so far if we click here and go exit to dashboard now let's go to plugins and hit add new then I want you to type in pirate forms now so we're just going to go to install now 
and then we're going to simply just hit activate. Okay, so you'll see something's popped up here now that says Pirate Forms. Just simply click on that. Just go to our options, and it will have already preset this one that is basically made up. You don't, you, I'm sure you never use this WordPress at uh, onehourwebsite.com. So change it to whatever uh, email you si signed up with. So um, let's go with this one here. This is one I signed up with, which is one hour website tutorial at gmail.com. Simply paste it in there. We can leave the rest of this and hit save changes. Okay, so now we've saved that. Let's go back to the contact page and then we're going to click contact. We're going to go back into edit with Elementor. And all we have to do now is if we scroll down and we open this one here that says WordPress you see something that says pirate forms okay so we're going to scroll down and all we do is drag that into here easy as that it'll open up and we can put a title in here so you could have contact and then you can put a little message in you don't have to but you can so you could have a okay, you could have something like that whatever you feel like having there and there we go and if people once people fill this out It'll simply send a message to our email that we set up in the settings. So easy as that, we've got a nice looking simple contact form. And then down the bottom again, we've just got these. So there is our contact page all done. And that marks the end of all of our pages. So we're just going to simply hit update. Alright guys, so I'm just going to show you a few final little touches to put on our website to really make it your own. So if we click back onto our logo up here and we go open a new tab and I want, to, want you guys to go to customize for me. So what we're going to set up now is our footer section of our website. So this is going to display at the bottom of all of our pages which is this section there's nothing there at the moment so at the moment it's just displaying like that but let's set up our footer so if we go to footer and we select two or three let's go three for now okay and then we go to widgets we go to footer okay so if we go to add widget we're just going to simply go to text, arbitrary text, put that in there, and you would type it in, type in something. Okay, so there's, as you can see, that's looking quite nice. If we go back, we can go to uh, the footer number two. We can hit at widget, add another arbitrary text, and we're going to call this one contact. And again, we can put in our details. And then perhaps you could put in, if you'd like, you could put in one more footer which could have perhaps your location. That's looking really nice and professional, I think. Okay, awesome. So that's our, our um, footer set up, which is very important on a website. Okay, so we've got one last little, nice little touch to add on and then we are officially finished our website, guys. So we're gonna go up to customize. Uh, site title and tagline so what we're going to be changing is see this little tiny icon over here which is currently the HostGator icon we're going to change it so that we have our own logo there which just adds a final nice little touch so if we go to select image and then I'm just going to go with one that I already have and insert that but you select yours and then Insert that, just to try and ensure that it's around um, 512 by 512 pixels. Look at that, there we go. So just that nice final little touch on our website. So all we do now is just simply hit publish, exit out. Now, if we scroll down, we've got this here that just, it doesn't look very, doesn't look very professional to have Prelly powered by WordPress theme by Sydney theme. So I'm going to show you guys how you can easily change this without having to edit any code or 
anything that could mess up your site. So let's just easily do that now. So if we just hit publish and we're going to exit out of it now. Okay, so what I want you to do is click anywhere on your website. I want you to just click view page source. So right click view page source. Okay, so if we click that, now this is going to look really confusing for you guys, but don't worry, this is not changing anything in your website. It's a really easy way to, uh, oh, you've seen in a moment why I'm doing this. So if we type in proudly, so control F, and then proudly powered by WordPress. So all we want to do is copy this whole thing here. That whole thing, just simply copy it. With that copied, we're going to go back to our dashboard and we're going to go to uh, plugins, add new. I'm going to type footer credit. I'm going to go remove footer credit. So if we go to install and hit activate. And now if we go to uh, tools, we go to remove footer credit. Just going to simply paste in that uh, code that we copied before. And now all we need to do is we just write in here what we'd like to have displayed instead. All right, easy as that. And now we can just hit save. And now if we once that's done, if we go back and we hit visit site to the very bottom, and you'll see now, it looks much better. It says copyright one hour website. So that's a lot more professional looking and really easy to do, as you can see. All right, guys, so we are so close to wrapping up here. I've just got one last little piece of advice for you guys. If we go back to edit with Elementor, and we go down to the bottom and we go to add another template. If you have a look on the pages library, you'll find that Elementor actually has pages already made up as well that you can implement into your site. Now, a lot of these are pro, meaning that you have to have the paid version, but there is plenty of really nice looking free ones that you could potentially mix and match. You could delete sections. All you would do is just insert the page and, and just like that, you would have that entire page implemented. So, and it's a quite an impressive page that you get for free. So if you were showing off uh, something like a piece of technology or an app or anything like this, this would be a perfect thing to use. And what you could also do is if there's certain areas that you like, perhaps you just want this area, you would just simply go through and you could remove this section here and you could remove all the rest and just leave this one in here. And that's how you could implement even more things into your site. There's also one other section called blocks where essentially these are pre-made um, little blocks, little areas. So so they're little sections that you can add in and then go through and customize them. If you look in the folder I gave you, there's also a section called uh, section templates. Now, these are a lot of the different sections that we've used throughout the theme that I created for you guys, the template that I created for you guys. I've broken them down into sections so you can easily implement each of them into separate areas on your website. Well, there you have it guys. This is where I leave you. I really hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and it's been able to help you to create an awesome looking website. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, then please be sure to leave a review on this course and to share it with others.